Hello! In this video, we're going to figure out how to pull in data from a Google Sheet into a Jupyter Notebook so we can use Python and Pandas to read it and manipulate it. You're going to need a couple of API keys from Google to do this. That's why it's a bit trickier than normal data. Well, I'll say normal. CSVs, text files, easy data. So I'm going to show you how to get those API keys now. So Google Google API, API console. And if I click here, which I've been on many a time, I'll be brought to a page that you guys won't necessarily get <clears throat> right away because I have keys set up. So that's the page I get. What you want to do is hit drive, drive API key. It will take you to a page asking you to enable it. I've already enabled it, so I don't need to and go to credentials, then create credentials. Um, the OAuth client ID is the one you want to create. So hit that, click other, give it a name and hit create. Then it will pop down here under this list. Hit download and you'll get this popping up. It's very important that you name the file google underscore secret dot JSON, very important. It will not work if it isn't named that. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is import pandas and also import um, gspread pandas, which is another module that we use to access the data through an API. We just do this. So to get gspread, we do pip install uh, gspread underscore pandas and that will install it. So I've already got it installed, so I got an error, but it should just install like every other uh, module. So let's load this up. No problems there. We're gonna get a bit of an error here and I'll show you why and I'll explain why. So remember I said you had to name the key a specific way. This is why. So the key needs to be named like this because gspread pandas is looking for that key. And it wants you to save the key after you've downloaded it into, if you're on a Windows machine, this will probably be a different location. Uh, I'm on Ubuntu, so that's where it's located. And if I go to here and do undo, oh, can I do an undo? Files, all right. I will need to, there we go, undo, figured out the quick keys. If we do an undo, we get the Google Sheet JSON. Looking credentials right now, that's empty. So, and I'll explain why in a second. So let's run it. This is what we've got instead now that we have the, the key set up. So we have to click this link. It will shoot us over. Oh, it asks us to pick an account, so I'm just picking this one. Um, we take this here. Enter the very uh, enter the API key in here. It's verified and it's worked. You only need to do this once because what it does is it sets up a profile in creds called, in this case, Data Boy. So it's called Data Boy because of this here. This is your username, and you have to have a username in place because multiple people can act on a sheet at any given time. So this is just for the logging system. The sheet that we're going to access is databoy-test and it is this one here. Close this. It is this here and it has index, uh, the day index, so date time and some data against it, some user data. So let's open the sheet. When we open sheet, we can either use zero, which is the position of the sheet so that so Python counts from zero upwards. So this is zero, or you can call it sheet name, whatever. I'm just going to use zero at the moment. No problems. Now we want to read it into a data frame. So we're going to go df equals s dot sheet to df. No problems there. That worked. Now let's have a look. Boom. That's it. It is immediately 
pulled in the data. It's that simple. Now, it seems to, and I'm not an expert at this module, um, it seems to set the column as the index. So if we don't want that, we can just do index equals none. And it, that's you. It will create an index for you. But I actually want that as an index. So, so to cheat at the moment, because I don't want to go and have to learn all the syntax for G spread pandas, I will put it into a pandas data frame. And we just do that by creating a new variable, calling it pandas underscore df equals pd dot data frame. So that's create a data frame out of df, which is this. Um, and we have to set the D type as integers. And I'll need to investigate why this is a bit more, but for some reason it will not see the numerical data if I don't tell what type of new numerical data it is. So we got no problems there. Let's look at the head, same as above. So it's now a pandas data frame. So now we can do stuff like df info, get info, pandas dot describe. Gives us a statistical breakdown of the data and pandas df dot block. Just like that, just a little, it's a little bit of a cheat, but it means that you don't need to learn all new syntax. If you just want to bring in the data and play with it in pandas, that's how you do it. So simple, much easier than I thought it was going to be. And I think that's due to the creator of G spread. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, um, subscribe to the channel, then like there's other videos I've done one on CSVs, JSONs, just to show people marketers how to open files. And then next we'll start looking at like, what can we do with the data in pandas once we've got it there. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it. If you get any queries or anything, just hit them in the comments below, or you can get me on Twitter at Nick Duddy. Ciao for now.